What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another Road to Glory. Some things have sold. Oh yeah, some fitness cards and a player went, two players went actually. It's pretty interesting. Now, um, as you can see by today's title, we are going to be talking about our investment profits already. And you guys are going to be seeing this on Thursday. The Bundesliga supposedly should be out on Friday, you know, based on previous years. We don't know for sure. Um, and we're going to take a look at like the investment profits already now i bought my team just a couple days after the bpl team of the season because i kind of anticipated the bundesliga would be next and i wanted to make sure that i had my team for cheap and then was able to sell it for profit for the next uh, team of the season tournament but whilst that's being said i am like super disappointed with the tournaments that ea have offered us you know it's been really bad um david Adler, as you can see is now about twenty nine thousand coins i picked him up for twenty four thousand five hundred. um Jerome Boateng I picked up for 17,750. He's already going for around 20,000 coins. And once that Bundesliga tournament is released, these prices are only going to go up as well, guys. So, you know, if, if you do want to get involved, uh, now would be a good time. There's a 2,600 coin bid on Leno there. I picked mine up for 1,700. Deepmine might be one of those guys that doesn't really go up much because he's just, there's so many of him. He's so low rate. Actually, oh, wow, look at that. Um, it looks like he's about 26, 2,700 coins as well. So his price has doubled. We picked up Thomas Muller for 4,600 coins. He is now going for around, by looks of things, 5,500 coins. Um, there's none like, there's no 5,500 straight away. So I guess those will get bought up. So only 1,000 coins profit on him. Um, Vidal and Lewandowski. Oh, crap. We'll go, we'll, go, we'll go pick up Vidal again in a second. Lewandowski here, we picked up for 21,000. Of course, we picked him up as a cam and he's now looking like he's going for, oh, there's one there for 23,000. Nah, maybe, maybe we don't make any profit on Lewandowski. Not, you know, not everyone's going to uh, be profitable, um, for sure. We picked up Royce for 32,500. Uh, he is looking like he's going for now around 30... There's a 32,000 bid there, so he looks like about 30, 33, 34,000 or so. You know, after tax, we probably won't make too much money off of him. But again, he should hopefully go up on the day. Uh, Douglas Costa is one of those I would expect to go up quite uh, quite heavily. So he's uh, he's around 9,700 right now. We picked him up for 8,000. So that's a nice bit of profit. And then Aubameyang, which was the guy that I heavily invested invested in. His price did go up a little bit due to my video, but not much. His price had already been on an uptrend. I saw some stuff in the comments saying that, um, you know, my video had the desired effect. If you actually look on Footbin and go to his price range, you see that he was, before my video even went live, he was at about 7,700 coins and I was picking up for around 7,000 coins. So uh, he's already now at like 8,500 or so, which means we've made around 1,500 coins on each um, individual Aubameyang that we picked up. And we picked up, I think I got six, seven, I think I got eight of them all together. So yeah, I got eight Aubameyangs um, in the trade pile, of course, and then obviously one in the team. Um, which will give us at least a 15, maybe 20, 25,000 coin boost to the club, which is very, very nice indeed. Now, uh, we're going to go and take a look at the tournaments in a second to see if there are any new ones on there. Let me let me check this. Um, let me check this uh, Vidal first, though. Uh, what what price did we pay for him? I can't even remember what price we paid for him, but we're going to go and put him back in the team, and then we'll go and have a look how much we paid for him and how much he is going for right now. Wait, did I actually leave Ultimate Team there? I don't remember leaving Ultimate Team. I just backed out of the uh, backed out of the transfer list. But anyway, the, yeah, the, the tournaments in general, I've, I've been pretty uh, let down by. Even like the week before Team of the Season came out, the Community Week had a good set of tournaments. These tournaments now, I don't know, man. It's like it's like every time there's something good in the game, EA do their best to to, to just not give us what we really want. Um, but yeah, so we paid nine thousand three hundred for Vidal, and he's now going for. Mm, you know, by looks of things, around eleven thousand coins. So another one that I'd probably expect to go up. It's, it's a shame if if I would have like predicted that someone like Deep Mark, because obviously he is the best right back and he's so cheap. If I would have predicted his price would have gone up to like three thousand, three thousand five hundred coins, I would have invested in crap tons of him because you know you pick up twenty or thirty of them at a thousand coins, just sell them all on for like three thousand, three thousand five hundred coins. You're gonna make forty, fifty, sixty thousand coins. This would be really easy. So for future team of the seasons. For League Un and for Serie A, maybe that's definitely something that we're going to have to look into. So, in terms of the uh, of the tournaments right now, there is only the the four basic generic single player tournaments. The BPL tournament is still there. I know some people do want me to try and finish this out. I just I just can't justify spending stupid amounts of coins on on really bad BPL players that if I don't win it in time and then sell them on, I'm going to lose so many coins on them. You know, that's that's not exactly what I want to do. And I did enter a single player draft. I don't remember entering this. Did I do this on video? I don't remember entering this, but we've uh, we're, we've won the first game. I'll play the drafts out throughout the rest of this week. And um, when the new Bundesliga team of the season or when the new team of the season drops on Friday at like 6 p.m., 
I'll open uh, those packs a chance then to get both in at the same time. Now, with that being said, we've got a pretty nice team here. Um, so I'm going to go into one more uh, cup game. Obviously, we played the cup game uh, previously. And um, the reason why I'm playing in the cup games is just because uh, this team isn't necessarily one I want to take into divisions. So we're going to go now into the semi-final of the Gold Cup. Potentially a, a cup that we could lose here and uh, hopefully pick up, you know, a nice win. This, this, team, this team is good. This formation is great. Um, it's just definitely one of those teams that just works. And in the last game, that guy rage quit and you can tell it works because... Uh, you know, we made a guy rage quit. So anyway, let me know what you've built for your team for the Bundesliga team of the season tournament. I'm hoping that they'll put a player the same as they did with Robert Hooth, like a winnable blue player. Um, if they don't, it'll be a bit disappointing, which I've said a lot about EA the last, uh, the last little while. But yeah, hopefully, don't back out. It's an offline kit. Come on, there we go. You'd be surprised how many people back out when they see that offline kit. But let's take a look at our opponent's team. Oh my God. So my opponent has Ronaldo, 93 Suarez, Messi, Iniesta, Cruz and Modric, uh, Godin, the 88 Ramos, the Areola, uh, DeMarcos, and I think it was Albert left back. A lot of pace in his team. And uh, it, this could be a tough game. This could be a tough game. I've just got a generic standard uh, Bundesliga team, and he's got one of the best, uh, you know, La Liga teams that doesn't have team of the season players in. But we're going to try our best anyway. Obviously, I don't want to, uh, don't want to cut myself out and, and count myself out straight. That's a foul, ref. No? Nah, don't worry about it, ref. Next time, mate. Um, yeah, I don't want to count myself out straight away. Poor Lower. Oh, that's a great interception. Who was that? It doesn't matter. Oh, Costa. He thread through. Pierre-Emerick. Aubameyang! Golasso! What a goal from P-E-A. He has scored a fantastic goal there. Took a tackle on the way in as well. Could potentially have been a foul. Look at that. He evades Sergio Ramos. It takes the shot. Gets taken out. In off the post. And, yo, that's why I invest in him. It's actually gone down as a Ramos own goal. I'm not being funny or anything. I saw Aubameyang hit that. I saw it come off of his foot. Not uh, not the foot of um, Sergio Ramos. I literally saw him strike through it. So, I don't know what the... Uh, I don't know what the game's getting out of that by trying to lie about who scored that. But um, they are trying to lie about who scored that. And it's not very nice. Oh, Bamiyang. Oh, we're carving this guy open right now. Oh, Bamiyang. He's clean through. Surely it's two. Surely it's... Oh, Ariola saved that. Where's Ramos when you need him again? Let's try and get another fucking own goal. That's what I'm talking about. Douglas Costa gets into some good space. Puts that into the box. The header from Boateng. I could be three goals up by now. Guys, we're nine minutes in. And it could be 3 0 up against this guy with his amazing, amazing La Liga team. And he's in the semi finals of the tournament as well, which means he, you know, he's, he's able to win games. <sighs> Costa, he's kept the ball. Oh, that was, that was obvious. And he's, like, he's going to go down left here. He hasn't really got many options. My team's pressed up really high. I don't like this. I don't like the team being pressed up this high. Because if this happens. Oh, go on, Alaba. Yes, Alaba's. Uh, Got Messi in his in his back pocket there for sure. Obama Yang. Oh, oh, he's got it back. Ball roll into the space. Left foot. Why have you hit that with your left foot? Hit that with your right. I literally ball rolled into the spot so that you could hit it with your right foot and not with your left foot. It doesn't matter. We've stolen it back. Oh, we've got into some space. A couple more ball rolls. Step overs. Oh, that was dangerous. Oh, that was dangerous as well. This guy... This guy is getting super, super fucking lucky. That's a good pass. Oh, this is nice. Thomas Muller from deep. Oh, it's gone in. What is Ariola doing? How has he conceded that? He's just stood there and watched it as a weak ass shot. Weak ass? Yo, I'm, I'm from the hood. A weak ass shot from Thomas Muller flies into the back of that. Look, Ariola, just watch. What's he doing? What's he doing? I'd be furious. I'd be absolutely furious if that was me, guys, and I'd conceded that a goal. I would be fuming. But hey, as it was me that scored it, I don't mind it too much. And uh, yeah, we're, we're absolutely tearing this guy apart right now. We, we, could, we could genuinely have like four or five goals at this point in the game. Um, but that doesn't mean that this game is, is, uh, is over yet. Just because we're dominating and two goals up, this guy's got a really good team. And, uh, you know, we've got, got to be wary of the players that he's got. Because if he gets into the box like this and gets his first opportunity on goal, he could quite easily score. But Thomas Muller is back there doing work. That's what I love about Thomas Muller. He's, 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 he's a true, uh, true team player. Oh, Douglas Costa is away. 
Oh, he's made some space there for Deepmire. That's such a terrible pass. All right, let's go. Let's go. Eat it. Let's go. All right, this guy's starting to create a uh, create a few uh, few problems for me defensively. Oh, Robert Hooth, love that. This guy probably saw my Robert Hooth and was like, "Wait, what?" And then I was like, "Yeah, what? What about Robert Hooth? Robert Hooth is amazing. Robert Hooth does work, man." All right, let's get this into the. Uh, yeah, that's just not quite where I aimed at EA. I don't know why you think I would aim it there. And that's going to be a goal. Oh my God, Leno, Leno, the hero. I've, I deserve to save that because. The throw-in was aimed at the guy in the middle of the three players that I had available to me, not the guy at the, the back edge towards my own goal, and I threw it into the middle, but the game decided to push it towards the guy towards my own goal, which obviously I don't want to do at the best of times. Um, so him getting that opportunity was it was there through broken game mechanics and, and not much else. So the fact that then uh, Leno may have managed to save the day really does make me happy. Oh, I'm going to steal that as well. That's a foul ref. Yeah, I thought that was a foul. Oh wait, no, it's a throw in. I didn't I didn't mean to throw that in either. Oh, Vidal. He sees Royce. Royce has got the run. Has he got the strength? He has got the strength. He's getting into the space. Oh, this guy can't handle me. He doesn't know what I'm doing. He doesn't know where I'm going. It comes into Muller, but Tony Kroos of all people strengths out uh yo, look at Lewandowski. For for you doubters of Lewa. Has he not proved himself at all? Has he not proved himself? And I know I gave the ball away with him there, but that was because of me. Oh, Robert Hooth, you beast. That was because of me, not because of uh, not because of Lewandowski. I literally tried to do a skill move past the guy and it didn't work. Yo, why is Hooth there taking that? Come on now. Oh, that's nice from Jordi Alba. It's lovely from Costa though. Lewandowski, that little drag back into Obama Yang. Oh, that's a hell of a block from Ramos. If I would have known he was going to slide there, I could have just cut inside. I would have had the angle to take the shot, but no, I end up taking the. Uh... Look at that, man. I, I, I did mean to do the scoop turn, but I didn't mean for that stupid touch to happen. Sorry, guys, got to get my coffee down me as well, otherwise it's going to go cold. So you're going to have to uh, deal with me drinking, uh, drinking sips of the coffee through this. Also helps my uh, helps my voice, you know. Helps helps keep the uh, the palate wet, if you uh, if you like. Oh, that's lovely. That is beautiful play. Oh, Bamiang. Oh, Bamiang. Oh, Bamiang. Oh, he's found Royce. What a goal! What a goal! This trio up top are just something else, man. Costa, Royce, and Bamiang. They have a little bit of everything. Aubameyang just with some great skill dribble into the box. Boom. Gets the ball to Royce who just slots that past the keeper. And my man Woody's 11 is out of here. 3-0 down with his amazing team. Let's take a look at his team one more time. 93 Suarez. Regular Messi. Regular Ronaldo. 88 Iniesta. 88 Modric. Tony Kroos. 88 Ramos. I think he actually had 88 Godin as well. Jordi Alba. Oscar De Marcos and Ariola. And look at his bench. He's bronze benching. He's because he needs to, because he's trash. He genuinely was trash as well. When Tony Kroos is your best player at 6.5, you know things are not good for you. But for us guys, that was a hell of a performance. And we find ourselves in the final of the Gold Cup. And look at that. It honestly could have been any number of goals. This guy had three shots, one on target. I, I do feel a bit sorry for him. The second goal was a bit AIDS. Uh, this Muller goal, like, the, his keeper just should have saved it. It's just terrible, terrible goalkeeper. I had a pop. Look at what is the keeper doing? He literally follows the path of the ball, and when it's past him, he tries to die for it. What is it? I just the goalkeeping in this game is something special. I tell you that. But anyway, guys, um, this is going to signal the end of the video. In fact, before we get out of here, I want to thank Opinion Outpost for sponsoring today's video. With Opinion Outpost, you can earn cash, Amazon gift cards, and iTunes gift cards for sharing your opinions to help improve ideas and products in different industries. Hundreds of Thousands of people have already joined and you automatically receive one free entry into the $10,000 quarterly prize draw each time you take a survey and there is no limit on how many entries you can earn. So the more surveys you do, 
uh, the more uh, the more entries for that ten thousand dollar prize draw you can earn. Don't forget to click the link in the description below to navigate your way to opinion outposts. And so guys, that is going to be the end of the video. I obviously want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.